feel the blood creeping up from the heathens. Got will, got fight, got pride, got reason. If they wanna go eat, then you know I'm gon' feed them. If you're coming for me, hope you're ready for a demon. I got eyes in the back of my head, I'm seeing. Take me for granted, and you know I'm leaving. I'ma take what's mine with the webs I'm weaving. I could take this crap from seeing to believing. I ain't gonna give up. Got too little time, I'ma live up. Head down, push forward through the tough times. Cause anything worth doing is a tough climb. And I ain't gonna give up. Got too little time, I'ma live up. Alright, you guys, we are going for it. So we're going to the Burbot Bash, which is in Flaming Gorge. Um, but we're going to just outside of Green River, Wyoming. But we found out that they have I-80 closed, which is the road to get get us there. But I got a phone with someone who said they were letting us in if we tell them we're only going to this section. So we're going for it, we're hoping for the best. But if we get there, we get turned around, we're just gonna call an audible, we're gonna go somewhere else. Yeah, so we're going to the Burbot Bash, which is an annual ice fishing tournament. And the purpose of it is just to catch and keep and kill as many burbot or lingcod or whatever you wanna call them out of this lake because they're an invasive species, they're a predatory fish, and so they're harming the uh, native species. It's really fun, really cool prizes if you do win or catch a big one or catch one with a um, tag in it. So we're heading down there. Last year we got our butts kicked, but we have a different game plan this year, so I feel like we're gonna be doing okay this year. We're gonna be eating really good, lots of company. We're gonna have four people on our team, so hopefully we catch lots of fish. But first thing, we're gonna get gas, and then we're just gonna start going. So I'll bring the camera back out in a little bit. Okay, well that was really easy. We didn't even have to stop. We just like rolled by, and the cop was like, we're going. Green River, get okay, by. So, so I guess we're gonna keep cruising. On to Green River. That's what the roads look like currently. They're fine. But now that we're in Wyoming, once you get further into Wyoming, you get past these hills, you just end up with all the big winds, snow drifts, and it just makes driving so unsafe. So they close it down during the storms so that way no one runs off the road or has any issues because you'll just be stranded. There's you go big distances without any services. So now it's on to Green River. We're gonna pick up our reciprocity stamp for fishing, OHV uh, permit, and then we're out of there, we're fishing. So hopefully next time we bring you out, it'll be once we're getting the stamp and then after that it's fishing, so stay tuned. I wanna talk about some of the stuff we did wrong last year. What do you think we did wrong last year? Well, I think location. Yeah. I think we were in the cliffs. We didn't have a nice solid like sandy bottom. Yeah, I think we were too deep. I think we were fishing way too deep. You think too deep? I think we were too deep. I think we were in like 80 feet of water last year. Well, now with the sonar thing, that should help. Yeah, I, I would like to be under 60 feet. Yeah. And then, I don't feel like we were hitting the bottom a lot. No, I think we are maybe hitting a cliff shelf. Well, even if we hit a cliff shelf, we weren't dropping our stuff all the way to the bottom and letting yeah. it sit on the bottom. We were like, hit the bottom and come up a couple feet. Yeah, I yeah, like we should hit the bottom and do what I did when we were at Rockport, hit the bottom, get tension, and maybe bring it up like half a reel, if anything. If anything, yeah. yeah. Cause all the stuff I've been watching. Like, just let the, it hit the bottom. All the Midwestern guys, they just let it hit the bottom. Yeah, right? but the only problem with that is like, if you let it hit the bottom, but you don't have enough tension in your line, you can't see it. Because if you have slack, you're just gonna be like, yeah, until they take it. Just like that. Just like that. Yeah. All right, you guys, we made it. We're getting set up. I'll show you everything in a second. First things up, we got automatic fisherman with the tip up. You guys have seen that. We have shelter. It's gonna be kind of hard to see. And then we're actually getting ready to cook here in a second. We're gonna have to figure out some better lighting options for tomorrow. Oh, why am I not holding it like that? That's way easier and better 
view. So, what? we got one shelter set up right now. Kind of see inside it a little bit. We have three rods, four rods in there. And then we're getting set up for cooking here. JC, are you the one cooking? I guess I'm cooking. Okay. We got Jake. Turn that light off, pal. I can't see you. I want to see your face. No one wants to see this face. We got Jake. Mr. Josh. Yo, yo, yo. Honestly, we kind of moved in over here on the ice. Everything's just, it's got a yard sale going. Um, but really, we're just kind of throwing something together for the night to try and get some fishing. Hopefully, we can catch something. We're going to have some tacos, hang out. And then tomorrow, I'll do a lot more filming. We'll get actually set up, tripod and everything. But we're here, we're fishing. See if we can get some angles from inside the shelter for you. Yeah, so you got a couple rods, fish finder, chairs in there. JC brought some lights, but they suck really bad. So we're gonna have to figure something else out. Good morning. We are getting gas, and then we're getting back out there. JC, how's it feeling? Uh, tired, sore. The uh, hotel we booked was not a good hotel. Not hotel, motel. The beds in this place are not really beds. But yeah, so we're getting gas loaded back up. We left a lot of the stuff on the ice, just in the shelters. We're gonna go inside, get, get a drink, and then we're gonna get after it, so. Now that there's actually light out, we're gonna have a full day. I can film a little bit more than I did last night. We didn't catch anything. We had, JC had all the bites and he stepped out and I hooked up on his rod, but then it came off. So today's the day, we're just gonna hammer him. So stay tuned. Josh caught the first fish. Just getting started. Feels like a champion. Looks like a champion. A little lake trout pup. <laughs> That's a good start. We haven't been set up too long, so we're gonna slay him today. It's gonna be a good day. All right, we are finally all set up here. We got all set up and, and situated, and Josh caught the first fish, lake trout. But walk around, show you what we got going on. So at the bird bash, you're allowed to six with fish, or you're allowed to fish with six total setups. So I've got one rod here that I'm jigging, an automatic fisherman, automatic fisherman, and then just a dead stick. And then we have how many flags you put out? Two right now. We have flag, flag. JC has an automatic out here. He has another dead stick and another flag out there, so. So we're ready, ready to catch some fish. I think it's gonna be a good day. We're just getting breakfast going, but it's windy, so eventually I'm just gonna end up hanging out in the shelter. But right now I'm just gonna hang out outside, do some jigging. We're in about 50 feet of water. Drake, any thoughts for the people? It's cold. JC, any thoughts for the people? Uh, not right now. <laughs> no comments. No, no comments. My people will contact your people. No comments. But yeah, that's where we're at. We're just hanging out fishing. So, be a good time. So, everything I have is just on the bottom. I went all the way down, got a little bit of tension, and that's it. And then I got all the bells set up to let me know what's going on in here. Cooking? Yeah, cooking. What are we cooking? Breakfast burrito mush. What's in it? Chorizo, eggs, potatoes, and cheese. Dude. Whoa! Got fish. Good size Laker. Good size. Little li little Laker. Feisty little guy. All right, you guys. We did a little shuffle. Jake and Josh, they wanted to go home. So we cleaned up shop pretty good and 
took them back and then JC and I went and got some food. Um, we didn't eat, we just picked it up and we came back, so we're gonna eat here in a minute. Um, so JC and I were just gonna hang out in the shelter. We have two automatics outside. One just actually got hit, so I gotta keep this kind of like a peak. Um, but JC's gotten a couple bites since we started. We're not moving because we've had action, so we're just gonna stay here for the night. Just toss it in like I've done. <laughs> Trying to get it like mold to that front. <clears throat> so I can rest my toes on it. Well, we just ate our sandwiches. Pretty good. A little spicy. Um, I'm bringing my lower back up because I'm trying to get it charged with my UV light. So, what I'm using, and this is kind of similar to what we're using on everything, it's just it's a little very varied. Grab onto that a little better. We're using a little jig, glow in the dark, plastic, and then I've got a minnow head on the front of it. Um, we're getting lots of bites. It's just the problem that we're running into is it's either very subtle bites, and so it's hard to like see it or feel it and try and set a hook, or they're chomping around it, but the hook isn't exposed enough when we lift and so then they're able to spit it out because we've had quite a few hookups and just they spit it out so I moved to a smaller plastic and a smaller minnow head hoping to get more hook exposure <laughs> alright update it is I don't know because my watch died let me see it's, out of this. <clears throat> it's just about 5 o'clock 5 p.m. 1700 just about five um, sun's gonna go down probably in an hour and from what I understand from what I understand about burbot they more active the last few hours after sundown so I think the next hour couple hours should hopefully be hot we are still getting nibbles, um, but I do think it's lake trout. I don't think it's burbot. All right, this lighting situation in here. We've got a little bright light, occasional JC's headlamp. Not the best, but work for me. Well, JC just missed a bite on his automatic. He stepped outside and saw it go off, but they're real finicky. They'll bite, pull, let go, and they leave. So, I obviously didn't get that, but starting to get some action. So, hopefully, soon we hook up on something. At this point, I'm not picky. I'll take anything catfish, trout, salmon, burbot. I'd just like to have some more action while we're fishing. So, here we go. Hopefully, we get something. Okay, we're in the car. It is. One degree. one degree outside and windy and snowing so I think we're gonna bag fishing in the morning and we're just gonna go get our gear and we're gonna leave we left our gear out on the ice last night because that's what we, we do every time we come out we just set up camp and leave it we're not going fishing we're gonna go get our stuff and leave All right, you guys, that is a wrap for the, I don't even want to call it the bourbon bash, but that's what we registered for. That's what we came out here for, but we didn't catch any burbot. I think it's really hard because there's just so much pressure, so many people. Um, a lot of people come up and pre-fish, and so I think by the time this starts, it's just they don't want anything to do with the baits because everyone who we talked to last year didn't catch anything, and I bet you the same thing this year. So. That's a wrap for us. We're going to head home. It, we were going to fish this morning, but it was zero degrees and a negative 15 degree wind chill. So we didn't want to play around in that. So we got cleaned up, we're packed up. We're going to get out of here. I might bring this back out on the drive if I'm feeling like it, but thank you so much for watching. Please like, subscribe, comment, and 
go get lost in adventure.